Hello and welcome back to the Garion Tabletop. I am back in Night of the Full Moon. I am Garion Raven. I'm going to take another crack at Bewitching Snake difficulty 8. So this time I will go with random again. Sure, yeah. Seemed to work out terribly last time, but I think that was because of my strategy rather than the random. So this time we've got Warrior, Beast and Dragon. Let's go with Kill, I think. That's a good one. Kill, so what's it? Kill, deal two damage. Not an amazing kill move, but still uh, not terrible. Stats added, yeah, I know that, yeah. Uh, oh, I could get a second one of those, or a growth. So he's a beast. Ah, what does he get at gold? Deal two damage two times on a kill. Interesting. Yeah, let's try, let's try and get some beasts. That'd be good for once. Oh, I don't think I've seen him before. Lamp bearing jailer. Shield. I huh. Have run out of mule. Did he say he's run out of mule or run out of fuel? Uh level up. Give an ally 2-2, two, 2xp two, two or 4 attack. Let's go with 2-2 two, two on you. And we're against him. Yeah, easy. Just a one-hit kill. Sort of storming this one. Prince Charming seems good, especially with the kill, deal two damage thing, but it's not gain a permanent 1-1, one, one, it's just gain 1-1. One, one. So presumably that's going to be in the same one and therefore not that good. If I go for the Draconic Speaker to get a Wolf Puppy, give an a minion 2 HP, nice. And then sell, I shouldn't have sold that, but okay. You look around the same age as my daughter. Midas has nothing on me. I kind of don't want any of them, you know? They're not particularly good, and I think I'd rather save up and level up. What am I up against next? Ooh, actually, that might be tough. No, I, I could probably take them. Maybe. What's your, your deal? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's that was awful. That was horrendously bad. I was very silly there. Level up. Uh, allies plus two, ally three three, all allies plus two. Let's go for an ally three three and just stick it on him. Apprentice cook on him. I don't know why I'm powering up this one guy so much. He's not very good. Uh, refresh. Oh, in bed. That's just a four four. That's not much. All right, sell these two. And let's go with the Dirk on him. All right. So he should be able to kill it. Oh no, he's still got the armor. Oh no. Alright, this guy's got uh, strength and all minions are strength. So let's go with the portrait to get a gold one with bloody amazing stats. Gigantic it. Dragon of Death. Allied Death Rattle minions gain 1-1. One, one. That is really good if I was going for a Death Rattle build. But I think I'm going to go for the Shackle Barbarian because that's pretty good. Alright, so Shackle Barbarian when attacking permanently gain 1-1. One, one. Give the Dirk to him and try it now. I've got some gold to spare if this isn't enough. Oh. Yeah. Alright, that was enough. Good. Ooh, that was a little bit close. Allies have one stack of strengthen. Let's go straight for the level up. Transform an ally into two star golden. Up to ah, oh, that sucks. Give an ally, yeah, growth. Because the shackle barbarian is really good. I remember that from early on. So let's actually swap them round. No, yes, yeah, swap them round because I want him to be buffed as much as possible. What am I up against? I've discovered a uh, lower stats become one one. Oh no! Well, that was crap. And I lost. God damn, I'm not doing well. Alright, let's try that the other way around. So that the strong one attacks first. Because he will just immediately do a load of damage and then kill him off. Yep, good. Oof. I really do need to actually try hard, you know? Growth gain three attack, that's always good. That's stellar dragons for shield build, and so is that. I think I'm going to go pirate thug, just because that is such a good growth ability. And the earlier you can get that, the better. I'm only at 7 out of 19. What's up next? Uh, two layers of shield, and they do damage when they die. 
time barrier. Hmm. Oh, nice. We can such a familiar Ooh. face. Gain 4-4 four, four madness. Stick that on shackles. Up next is the highest attack can't attack. Damn. That bloody crusher of, of strategies. That's okay. Doesn't trigger his kill thing, but still not too bad. Let's go with a level up. Uh, three star golden. Yep, I can golden the shackle, which will give him a permanent 2-2. Two -two. Let's do that. And gain 2 HP. Oh yeah, that's an easy one, because I can out-damage those. Show me what you're made of. Ooh. Nice. So he's just gained 4-4. Four, four. Oh, that was fairly easy. I do really like the shackle. Oh, four stacks of strengthen. 3-3 three, three for each minion embedded. Gain 3-3 three, three more. I don't think he actually has anyone embedded. He does? No, I didn't embed. No, I went for the Dirk instead of the, uh, the B. What is the difference between strengthen and extra damage? Oh, is it the strengthen, like, is immune to damage reduction things? So like, oh no, I've changed your damage to one strengthen. If it has four stack of strengthen, a one attack thing will still deal five damage. That could be it. So it's like a um, immunity to damage reduction thing. All right, yeah, I'll get that and stick that on shackles. Each time you equip one piece of equipment, gain one stack of madness. Okay, now I'm going to put that on him instead. Uh, right, remove that, add that. So he's now up to madness three. And considering he gets 2-2 uh, two, two every time he attacks, that's pretty good. Alright, what have we got? I'll take that. That's the uh, steal two points of the attacker's attack. Oof. Nice. Nice. <laughs> pretty good strategy, Shackles. Snail. Can't attack growth given another ally in the same column 3-3. Three, three. That is bloody amazing. Give an ally 5-5. Five, five. All right, I'll go for that pangolin on him. Cause enemy's highest attack to halve. Damn, that's going to be him. Ooh, with, uh, look at that. Uh, that health on that bloody wolf. That weird little wolf in a shirt. Oof. Still. More than enough to uh, shred the entire force on his own. Because the shackle is brokenly good. After embed all allies gain 2-2, two, two. I don't actually think I have any dragons, you know. No, there would be some warriors. But I'll level up instead. Gold up to 4, select 5 ran five star equipment, gain an original copy of the far left card in hand. Ooh. Transform an ally up to 4 star to gold. That will change that to a 6-6. Six, six. I'm doing that. I'm putting my eggs in the shackle basket. Because the shackle basket is the, the heaviest basket of all of them. Oh, amazing. Oof. And they don't really have the attack to do much damage here. So he's just powering up left and right. And I've got the, um, the pirate guy as my backup. Oh, I'm le max level already. Entry, gain other allies total attack in HP. Holy crap. That is incredible. If I hold on to him until the very last minute, bloody hell. I mean, he's going to come in with four attack, but he's going to be the ultimate shield. Oh, embed shield. Let's go for that and stick that on him. I'm tempted by this combo. Your entry effect triggers twice. Entry, gain other allies total attack in HP. So if I put him in, if I place the treasure hunter in first, if I sold the pangolin, got the treasure hunter and then got the blessed warrior, he'd be coming in with 202 health. That is pretty cool. I want it just, just to be able to say I can do that. But I'm still going to try and hold off because I'm not really using most of these slots. Enemy minion HP halves, yikes. Shouldn't be a problem. Then again, they do have 22 hit points, uh, 22 health and attack each. Ooh, okay, Shackle did a lot of work there. Yeah, Shackle did enough work. This minion's growth effect triggers once additionally. 
Well, I put that on him, don't I? Because then he'll activate it twice on him. And now I place the treasure hunter and place the apprentice cook on him. So that activated twice, presumably. Sure, I, I reckon we can handle whatever's coming. Candleman? All uh, allies gain death rattle. Okay, that's fine. I mean, yeah, that looks scary, but they're really not gaining from much too much. And with the amount of madness Shackles has. Ooh, then, then again, look at those numbers. Wow. Okay, that is actually really, really scary and I can't beat that. Yikes, that turned quickly. All right, get sh the pocket watch again. And this time refresh. Uh, treasure hunter, piggy architect. Again on him. Let's give it a go. I mean, considering they're starting out at 10, 11, they get bloody powerful, bloody quick. I mean, so do I, but still. We'll see if he can hold on long enough to do some real damage. Ooh. Come on, hit candles, hit candles. Yes. No. Get Piggy. Place the treasure hunter. Place Piggy on him. Sell Piggy, get Blessed Warrior to come in with 287 bloody health. Alright, I don't know if that's going to be enough to win this. I think I need to get lucky, maybe? I should be able to do this? No, he's still going to come back once, I can't beat him. Yeah, he still came back. Alright, I'm going to try giving the extra thingy to somebody else. Like him. Then selling him and bringing the Blessed. Nope. Okay, I've got it this time. I needed him to be on the front line. Oh, that was still so close. I needed him to be on the front line to take a couple of hits or something. I don't know, but that was the thing that changed it for me. Next up is Mad Wolf. Front row allies have sweep. That doesn't seem too threatening. But I don't think Portrait can hold up anymore. Surprise, surprise, the one star can't keep up anymore. So I'll give the Dirk to the Blessed Warrior instead. Let's go for the Hypnotist, because this one is um, every two minions recruited gain a random lottery ticket. So put that on him. He'll get that twice because of the Treasure Hunter. Sell him. Get Magic Boots. Get the Lucky Ticket. None of those are good, so get one. Sell it. Refresh. All growth triggers twice, that's great. And I think if I sell the magic boots and get the drunkard, I get the wealth ticket. And I can get the growth triggers effect twice. Then again, the satiated dragon. Gain half the sum of HP of other dra uh, of other allies. That means he's going to get like half of that plus all of that. That's a lot. But 10 attack just isn't very useful, but that's much more useful. And sell that. Is there anyone I could get rid of? I mean, is he really benefiting anymore? He'll be gaining six attack a turn, but that's just not much, you know? No, he's only got four left. I think it might be better to get rid of him, put in the second... Or I, Oh no, I could get rid of him. I don't, I'm not actually using entry that much. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get rid of him. So this way, uh, he will immediately gain... Um, 1818 because of the growth. That'll trigger uh, two times. Does that stack? Oh. It might not stack because it says non stackable halo. Doesn't say halo when you're on here, but I assume that means it doesn't stack. Damn. Oh well. We'll see what happens. Oh, bloody hell, look at that. It's so hard to keep track of what is and isn't happening. Oof. Wow, they just cannot touch shackles, can they? Reflective mirror, that's incredible. When taking damage, deal the same damage to a random enemy. Put that on my mega defender, bloody hell. Allies have two stack of strengthen, that's a pretty good one. After attacking, all allies gain two more stack of strengthen, that's also a good one. So let's see, 151. Yeah, he does gain 18. 
28? I don't know. He gains a lot of health. It doesn't matter. I don't even know who we're fighting then. I wasn't paying attention. We just killed them that quickly. Let's see here. They cost two. So let's get the pirate thug on the off chance of golding him. Yep. Gold pirate. So let's just get the wealth ticket. Gain other... Ah, oh, blessed warrior. So pirate thug. Upgrade, upgrade. Ah, oh, gold blessed warrior. Fantastic. Look, he's coming in at 288 and then he still gets the the entry thing. There's lucky ticket. Nah, nothing. Oh no, I can give I can give someone shield, so I'll give give him shield and then sell him. And then blessed warrior. 750 health is incredible. Pinocchio first hand copy of the highest stats. Oh no. Oh no, that is bad. That is a very, very bad one. Is he going to copy the health? Or is he... No, he's... He copies all of it. He copies the attack from Shackles and the, the health from the Blessed. That is insane. How does that even work? Okay, well this is... This is... Yikes! That is a very potent reflection. Yeah, gold spring spirit. I mean, very late on in the game to get it, but sure. Uh, embed pierce, got to be on a dragon. Shield times two, all your allies can have multiple stacks of shield. Sure. Whenever an ally is attacked, that minion gains 4-4. Four, four. Oh, no. Do I have any shields coming up? What's his thing? Enemy minion minus seven attack. Seriously, that doesn't sound particularly good. Yeah, let's go with the Demon Blade. I'll just stick it on him. 159 health. Whoa! So bloody powerful. Jesus. Oh, the Shackles can just team wipe on his own. No, right, I didn't get anything good at all, really, in the final thing. I shouldn't have gone for the two minion recruited one. Should have gone for the other option. Anyway... The final boss, Bewitch Snake, adorable, carrying a giant scythe, can only take one damage at a time, but needs to be hit seven times. Okay, that is kind of scary. That seems like a very old voice for for the uh, the young appearance of the character. Yeah, we've got this. We can easily last now. Yeah. The Blessed Warrior is the perfect counter to her. The truth is often stranger than fiction. Ah, not a very meaningful thing. Equipment slot plus two, that's cool. Beast Max, Warrior Max, Dragon level two. And there we go, that was the Bewitching Snake. Unlocking Silent Statue. How odd, enemy mod mob strengthen. Well, that went better. It was a bit rocky at times, but overall went better than the previous one. Um, if you have any requests of things to use, otherwise I'll keep using random. I would actually like to finish leveling them up. I don't, don't think there's any way to see what levels they are. Some of these are now max level, and that means I'm not unlocking anything, I think. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more board games, card games like this, sort of miniatures and D&D, &D, and I will catch you later.